Hey, it's Josh Reimer, and I'm here with my boyfriend Heath. Hi. In Ypres, in the Flanders region of Belgium. This city dates back to medieval times and beyond, but it's especially known for the battles that took place here during the First World War, which officially ended exactly 100 years ago this fall. And we're gonna bring you along with us as we visit. So to start things off, we stayed at the New Regina Hotel on the Market Square in the heart of historical Ypres. There is an on-site restaurant with a bar and terrace, breakfast is included, and there are 28 renovated rooms. And ours had a great view of a medieval building called the Cloth Hall, which is also where the In Flanders Field Museum is, which was our first stop. It tells the historical story of the First World War in the West Flemish Front region. There's a lot of stuff to see in this museum. It's pretty interactive. It was opened in 1998 and kind of serves as the last great witness of the Great War. And then from there we went to the Essex Farm Cemetery. This is where Lieutenant Colonel John McRae of the Canadian Army Medical Corps wrote the poem In Flanders Fields in May 1915 and where a month before that the guns of the 1st Canadian Artillery Brigade stood. There are over a thousand servicemen from the First World War who are buried and commemorated here. And then we went for lunch to the Old Cheese Factory which began began in 1932, but was completely renovated in 2002. As you might guess, you can get some great cheese here, among other things, and they even offer cheese-making workshops if you feel so inclined. But we went from there to the Memorial Museum Passchendaele 1917, which covers one of the bloodiest battles of the First World War. Here you can go down into a dugout to get a bit of an idea of what life might have been like in one of those. And then you can also go outside the museum into a trench experience to get just a tiny taste of what that might have been like. And then from there we went to the Tynacott Cemetery, which is the largest Commonwealth War Graves Commission cemetery in the world. Now the resting place for almost 12,000 servicemen of the British Empire. This area was the scene of the Third Battle of Ypres, which is also known as the Battle of Passchendaele. And then from there we went over to Menin Gate for the last post, which every evening at 8 p.m. precisely, since 1928, they've done this ceremony. This is where the British troops marched through to defend Ypres salient and it also displays the names of almost 55,000 soldiers from the British Empire who went missing in action. And then from there we went for dinner at Les Alles Market Cafe which is located opposite of the Town Hall Museum building. It's got sort of a casual cafe atmosphere with some original dishes, some classic dishes and of course some delicious Belgium desserts. And that was our visit to Ypres here in Flanders. Thanks for watching and follow me on Instagram to see photos of us in this cute city as well. Bye. Bye.